Hi, I'm Dr. Geula, medical director here at the Southern California Pain Institute, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about low back pain. Low back pain is the number one reason patients come to see pain management doctors. It affects millions of Americans every year and has a huge impact on patients' quality of life. There are many causes of low back pain, and what I'd like to do is discuss them today anatomically. When we take a look at the low back here, we see the intervertebral discs between the vertebral bones. These discs are composed of a viscous material and serve as natural shock absorbers for the spine. The discs themselves can cause pain if they have a tear or other defect. The discs may also move out of place and compress spinal nerves causing pain. Now we move on to the spinal cord here. The spinal canal is narrowed in a condition called spinal stenosis. This can cause low back pain and leg pain and sometimes neurological deficit. As we move further back, we see the spinal nerves here. They exit the spinal cord through the neuroforamens here. Nerve root compression caused by disc displacement or bony overgrowth can also be a potential source of low back pain and leg pain. As we move further back, we see these joints here between successive vertebral bodies. These facet joints can become arthritic just like your hip or knee, thus causing significant pain. Muscle spasm, which may occur with any of the other conditions we discussed, can also be a cause of significant low back pain. It should be noted that many times patients have several factors contributing to their pain. A thorough history and physical exam is a good starting point to more accurately diagnose and treat low back pain. If you have low back pain, feel free to schedule a consultation with us here at the Southern California Pain Institute.